Hey guys. Okay, so this is part two of Scratches. I am Jake of CNJ's Let's Plays. Okay, let's go out here. Let's go to this door. I don't think I've checked this area. The door to what I assume was the basement was locked. Of course it fucking is. The place where all the scary shit happens is not available yet. Okay, let's go over here then. Let's go upstairs before I go outside. I think that that other door was to go outside, so let's go upstairs. Yep. I remember that Jerry said a nice room had been prepared for me upstairs. Okay. What's in here? It's fucking crazy uh, how many rooms are in this place. I'm wondering how much of it's really important. Apparently the water wasn't running. Okay. Um nothing. Okay, let's get out of this fucking area. That was a waste of a minute. Alright. Uh more pots, probably nothing of real inf uh, anything of real merit. Um let's try this door. I was unusually surprised after entering this room. It was some kind of gallery. This theme being African culture. Uh oh. Um. Ah, here we go. The lamp seemed to be broken beyond repair. Probably the souvenir of a hazardous journey. Uh. Bunch of stupid shit. No. I don't know. Get out of that. There we go. Ah! What the fuck? It wouldn't move. This display case was holding perhaps the most import uh, impressive items in the room. Hmm. What's this? Beautiful vases were mesmerizing. Okay. What's over here? More stupid shit. Ooh, titties. Something that looked like a lion's claw was firmly atta uh, attached to the necklace. Okay, this looks like a bunch of stupid shit, so I'm not. I'm, not, I'm done with this room. What's in here? Now this room looks more civilized. Nothing. Holy fuck, there's nothing going on. Okay. The bed seemed to be comfortable, but too fancy for me. Alright, well, fucking let me... There we go. Too fancy for him. Some things in here seem to be not good enough, and others are too good for him. What the fuck? What is this? I don't care about that. Alright, so that's all that's going in there. Okay. What's that? Well, I want it. Give it to me. It's bullshit. Alright, whatever. What's in here? I didn't want to go through a bunch of trinkets and perfumes. Uh, so that's not worth your time. All this other shit's worth your time, but not, not trinkets and perfumes. But the fucking room for African culture... What's this room? I quickly uh, realized that this has uh, had to be my room. It became evident why as I glimpsed the gorgeous view through the huge window. Can I turn on the light? I don't think I can. No power. Alright, let's go over here. Uh, beautiful oak desk was standing against a window with an extraordinary and inspiring view. Ooh. What's this, a lamp? Let me... No. Okay, there we go. The view is inspiring. Jerry had picked the right room for me. It would be ideal when going, uh, doing some work. 
The books in the room were rather boring, no horror novels. Unbelievable. What's this shit? It's fucking nothing. Too early. Too, too early to go to bed. You kidding me? That little table could come in handy. I'm gonna be going to bed pretty soon. It's fucking 10 a.m. I know, right? It's crazy. It's never too early to go to bed. It appeared as if a doctor used to sleep in this room. Ooh. Doctor's bag. I grabbed the stethoscope, which seemed to be about the only useful thing in the bag. Anyway, let's get out of this. It's fucking weird. I don't want to know what that was. Right, let's get out of this fucking room. Sorry, you're going to hear a little bit of a noise. Just hang on a sec. So I was moving the microphone. Hopefully it wasn't that bad. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let's go upstairs. It's very precise in where it wants me to click. Oh, the door's locked. Or not locked, but stuck. Not this door, though. I was wanting to... Yeah, Alright, whatever. What's this? The upper bathroom would have been beautiful under different conditions, but in its current state, it would was sad and depressing. Ooh, another door. What's this door do? Alright. A neat little stove was standing on a plank. Thanks, Captain Fucking Obvious. All right, and the amount of tra uh, the amount of trash in this room was unbelievable. I didn't even want to imagine the piles of rubbish that were inside these boxes. Dildos. It's just like an entire box of dildos. <laughs> God damn it! This music is sad. Stop being sad. It's just a pile of old bricks. It's over here. Just some uninteresting boxes. God damn it, seriously? Oh, there's another door. What's in here? Door was locked, but I could see a key on the other side uh other side of the through the keyhole. Um maybe I could stick something in it. Nah. <laughs> I had to have some means of retreat, of retreat. Yeah, exactly. This. Fucking, come on. It, like, changes the way it lights. Okay, evidently that doesn't work. Maybe this will. Pencil is too big to fit in the keyhole. Maybe a key. No. Alright, what's the stethoscope? <laughs> Then what the fuck? Can I just put the... Well, I don't even know what this is, but it seems like it would be thin enough. Alright, so none of that shit is good enough for the game. So, fine. I'll walk upstairs then. Maybe there's something upstairs. Um, what the fuck? That's... No. Go upstairs. Go up there. There we go. Is there anything on the floor? No. There ain't shit down here. Wow. Okay, there was nothing of interest among those trinkets. What's in here? Ah. Ew. 
Isn't that cute? Alright, get out of there. Going out. A useless array of random items of every imaginable size and color occupied all the corners of the attic. Okay. I couldn't see clearly enough to identify the objects in that dark area. Um, is there anything in this room that I can... There's gotta be something. There we go. Key. I need a key. I doubt this will work. It, it won't. Oh. I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, oh, yay! No, get out of that. Get out of that. I want out. Let me out. There we go. Now I have a lantern. Doubt it lights, but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have any oil. Didn't think so. I strained my eyes to uh, detect if there was anything useful among that junk, but instead I got the impression of a sinister presence lurking in the shadows. What the fuck? What? What the? What? You don't just you don't just say that in passing like that. That's that's fucking weird. All right. There was nothing of interest in those trinkets. Okay, so nothing there. This game isn't scary so far. I'm sure it'll get scarier though. Okay, so I, I am under the impression that's all that's down or that's in this area. So yeah, there's this area over here. Nothing in the weir wheel weir barrel wheel barrel. That's what I meant to say. Um, no. No. I'm not suicidal. What's this? A couple of old and rusty lamps adorn uh, adorn the top of the tower. Um. No, shit. Go back up. Go back up. Can I... No, I can't. I can't. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright, well then what the fuck? I must have missed something. There's gotta be something that I'm missing. Because there's okay, there was just a pile of old bricks. Is there any oil in this area that I can find? Alright. Uh the door was locked, but I could see a key on the other side through the keyhole. Uh is there a way to retrieve it somehow? I don't fucking know. None of these none of these things evidently um work for it. So I don't know. Wait. What's in this notebook now? Uh, okay. Yeah, this is new, so I'll read this. This home, or this house is amazing, far beyond my wildest dreams. Jerry's efforts have truly exceeded my expectations. I'd better get acquainted right away. Jerry is the electrician, uh, says the electrician should be on his way to solve the light problem. I feel relieved. It seems the house is out of power. You can't have everything, I guess. Hopefully it's just a minor glitch. But I should tell I should tell Jerry. I'm speechless. I've just read an incredibly uh, incredible story about a mysterious African tribe. The personal memories of this James Blackwood person, even if it is isn't true, it's simply ter uh, terrific material. Okay. Judging by the stuff I've been seeing around, this Blackwood was really into African culture. Perfect. The room that Jerry ordered to be pr uh, prepared for me has to have the best spot in the whole house, with a huge window overlooking the garden. The view is breathtaking and inspiring, and is bound to permit me to concentrate on my work. Sorry, I just have this thing where I'm just not good at uh, reading, like, handwriting. I don't know why, I don't know what my deal is, but I just struggle with it for some reason. Alright, so I'm just gonna check this area again just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. There's got to be fucking something around here, whether it be oil or uh, an item I can pick up to make it to where I can get that key out. Uh, 
I had to light the stove first. No, that's stupid. There's, yeah, there's fucking nothing in here. Alright, whatever. Let's go downstairs and we'll check out that one room I didn't look at. This is kind of annoying. Down. There you go. Uh, I already looked at that room. I already looked at all that stuff. Okay, so this door right here. Wait, did I ever check these drawers? Uh, maybe they don't let me. Yeah, whatever. Let's try this door. It goes outside. Maybe it'll be helpful. Uh. Okay. Evidently, this is the area I'm supposed to go to. All right. So down here. This looks ominous. I don't know if I want to go down here. Oh, no, never mind. What the fuck was that? That was weird. I heard something. Like, in real life, not in the game. That was really fucking weird. Alright, I think wires was tied between both handles, securing the door uh, to the crypt. Uh, let's hear it. Maybe then it'll... no. Nope. Uh, let's cut it with a key. Nope. Nope. Okay. Um... Fuck. Right? In that case, what the hell? <laughs> I mean... I don't know what else to do in that case. Like, I don't know, I don't know where to go from here. I had to have missed something. Was there two different areas? No. Alright. Oh. Nope. Never mind. God damn it. Alright. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure this out. And, uh, so I'll close out. Uh, the video here. So if you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe and all that shit. And I will see you guys next time.